There's a brand new drum gun in Fortnite that's come with the release of the first update of Chapter 5 Season 2 alongside two other brand new items that you can use in game, a bunch of free cosmetics and a whole lot more. So stick around for the entire video to catch all of it. So first things first, where can you get the drum gun? And that is absolutely everywhere. This spawns as a normal item in Fortnite. You can get it from chess, brand new Midas vending machines, which are quite cool. And then also floor loot and sometimes even supply drops. Now a guaranteed place to get this is is Midas's yacht. If you land all the way out here on this side of the island, there's a brand new NPC and that is the Midas NPC. We're gonna land on a gun here before we go to the NPC just in case someone else lands near me. And you can buy this drum gun for 300 gold. Now on top of buying the drum gun here, you actually have a brand new terminal that you can use. And this terminal over here does a couple cool things. One cool thing it does is it can upgrade your guns to gold. So we're gonna upgrade this drum gun to a legendary rarity for 300 gold. So a total of 800, you can get yourself a legendary drum gun and this is pretty sweet comes pretty decked out almost has full attachments it is missing one now this can only upgrade one of your guns to legendary it can also heal you and it can also rift you which is really really nice so let's get rifted out of here and let's go for some mythic items so this new drum gun yeah it works with mods so once these mod bunkers open at zone three total six of them will open up always every single time at zone three there's a total of nine of them on the map so not all of them always open up you will then be able to put the perks of your choosing so you can put a drum mag on it, which gives it 40 bullets you can give it a better scope a whole bunch of stuff now the reason i landed at hades is because there's something else that's new that you can get from hades let's start the boss off now we do have the drum gun attachment on this so it does have 40 bullets and as you can see here working in classic drum gun fashion its recoil isn't perfect, so you're gonna have to put some recoil control on this gun. Now, to be honest, using it so far, a little bit like last you're gonna have to put a lot of effort into making this gun better than it actually is. I'm not sure where this person's at. That took him out nice and easily there. And we will be putting reduced recoil on this. I think reduced hit fire could also be good, but I think that's more suited towards build mode of Fortnite, not zero build. And if we use... Whole clip there, doesn't take out Hades. So not as good as using the Warforged Assault Rifle or the Huntress DMR. And just like that, we got ourselves one of the brand new items in Fortnite, the Chains of Hades. Now, this item you can actually get from anywhere, not just from the boss Hades himself. But I thought I'd show it off here because this is a guaranteed way to get this item. This item works very, very similar. Oh, there you go. We've got another one there. Works very, very similar to, to the Grappler Blade in Fortnite or the Spider-Man Mythic and also Harpoon. So... For the Grappler Blade, it works in the similar fashion of attack. It can deal 150 damage in three attacks. First shot hits for 40, second shot also hits for 40, and the last shot hits for 70. Now this you gotta be pretty accurate with. It can do pretty good range and it does bounce people around so it makes it hard for them to see where you're at. Now how it works like the Spider-Man Mythic or the Harpoon, if you charge it up and you use your attack button, so you charge it with your trigger button and then you press your attack button, it'll pull items towards you. So this is going to be really, really good for build mode of Fortnite. It's probably going to become meta in comp because being able to refresh that easily in the game is going to be super, super advantageous. Now this can deal damage to walls and stuff, but based on the delays that you hit while standing still, probably not gonna be worth it. Look at that, someone's already got Cerebrus' Mythic and is headed this way. And that shotgun can deal a devastating amount of damage. Not reloaded, that's not great. Now let's hit that reload real quick. And as you can see there, Chains of Hades not great to use mid-fight, especially if you don't hit the person, just leaves you too wide and out in the open. Now we can only upgrade this at zone three when the bunkers spawn in. When it comes into free cosmetics, you can get these from completing quests. And I just recorded a little separate bit on that earlier so you can see them in detail. Here's what you get. So these Rise of Midas quests aren't through all Flora's Lava and you can get from it these free items. You can get this spray, this 
back bling, which is really, really nice. And then on top of this as well, this new glider. Now, these aren't the only quests to complete. If you go to the playlist and you go down one, Midas present Flora's Lava. From playing Flora's Lava, you can also earn these extra rewards here. The best one, of course, is the Gilded Vengeance Pickaxe, which is a previous shark harpoon pickaxe that now has gold on it and do note it does have jiggle physics to it but maybe that changed because now it's gold someone else is under me here and drum gun's feeling pretty nice there at that medium range as soon as it gets into a little bit of long range doesn't feel great if i wanted a half pot for example i could just pull that towards myself too okay the zeus mythic has died in zone so only someone is running around with aries and we will quickly rotate towards a bunker here too. This one on edge is fine for the next minute 35. So we'll head towards that one because it's gonna be less competition there. Having some more shockwaves would be great at this point in the game as well, but we can make one work as long as I focus up. And the other new item in the game at the moment is the mini shield bubble. So I did hear some shots out here. So we'll head towards here, see if we can spot who was shooting out this way. Now the mini shield bubble works very similar to the way the old shield bubble worked, but of course it's mini. It spawns one tile radius, so you know when you break a block in Fortnite, that's one tile, and it only lasts for 15 seconds. You can put this down where vehicles are at, and this will pretty much protect you from everything, including the Zeus Mythic. So something I recommend learning to do is learning how to play the edge of it, so knowing when to peek out and quickly peek back in so you can deal damage and not take any damage. It's going to be a pretty fun item, but in terms of meta, I don't think it's really going to be it. Looks like some shots went down towards this bunker a second ago. So let's push towards it and see if we can use shield bubbles to our advantage to push in. Now there's a brand new Midas skin that is going to be coming out. Now this comes out on the 26th of March, 8 p.m. ET time, and you can get it for free if you play a cup on the 24th. Okay, these people aren't near the bunker, so I'm just gonna push into the bunker. And actually, you know what? Let's show you real quick how this works again. So this is going to be really good. If you've been struggling against the Zeus Mythic this season, this lasts for a total of 15 seconds. And those 15 seconds is enough time for three of the Zeus Mythics to pop and for it to not deal damage near you. Considering I don't need any of these items as well, we'll just go straight for the upgrades. What we're looking for here is better recoil so we can shoot from longer ranges because I think that's where the drum gun normally always falls off. So if anything can assist that, that's gonna be really, really helpful. Let's quickly see if there's any better heals in these. More mini shield bubbles. We've got a shockwave, so we're not gonna bother with that. I think the shield bubbles are definitely gonna be more worth it in build mode of Fortnite, where the Zeus Mythic can be considered super OVP. Okay, we see someone there. Not reloaded, that's not good. Oh no, I'm dead. Might have a chance. We have a chance. Nice, made it to the vehicle somehow. I will survive at all costs here. So as you can see, they're really struggling to use this item at range. Uh, once we get into zone, shouldn't be too much of an issue as long as we make sure we use it close range and we get ourselves some more movement. I do only have 35 HP, which isn't great. So let's get into zone. Let's find ourselves a med kit or something. Now, Flora's Lava has returned also. Now, this is for squads only. And unfortunately, it works only well in build mode. Zero build, you wouldn't be able to like do anything to protect yourself from lava. So it hasn't come out in that mode, unfortunately. And the Warforged Assault Rifle did get a bit of a buff. The Speed Mag now works a lot better for this. Oh man, GG's. That player just could not hit shots on them at all. Forgot to also mention the Zeus Mythic got a nerf. So the first two shots won't actually hit you through builds. But anyway, that's pretty much everything in this update. So we're not going to go for the win completely there. Unfortunately, I do have work tomorrow morning and I would like to get at least six hours sleep. They're just better than me. I'm not warmed up. It's hard playing this game after a long work day, but I'll be doing it tomorrow on live stream anyway. So if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's pretty much everything in today's update.